Okay, this, this video is on client satisfaction and how to have happy clients um, and happy customers. Uh, working as a personal tutor, uh, I'm a tutor on preplay.com. I've got like 4,000 uh, classes done, 5,000 classes done. Number one is um, response time, is be quick. Uh, people buy the f things available right now. I mean, uh, a lot of people know this, Amazon know this. A lot of uh, things you buy online are now shipped with express mail order, so they get to your house in about three days, uh, two days. So the quicker you can get back to somebody, the better. So um, I try to keep my response time under an hour. Uh, Preply is pretty good at that. They show you uh, your stats and your results about how you're doing on this. That means responding to absolutely everything all the time. Um, I don't let a single message go without me saying, oh, thank you, or something at the end. I always have the last word, uh, just to make sure I'm tripping the algorithm in my favor. Um, how I started out really was uh, I started on preplay. Um, you have to keep responding to messages as quickly as possible. So I would be constantly checking my email, um, which is quite easy because preplay will send uh, email notifications to you. It does like a few minutes for them to get to your email. So if you have preplay open and you have notifications turned on, it will pop up a message. And if you just stay on the uh, the, on the message board, um, you'll get quicker response. You'll get a quicker response. You can do it in about two or three minutes. So now my my average, I don't know what my average response time now is. Must be about an hour. But I, my my general response time is about two or three minutes. And occasionally I get a message on my day off, which is Saturday. And on that day, I has to, it has to wait until the next day when I can re-reply to it. So it's occasionally my response time is like like six hours, and that averages out about an hour. So you've got to be really quick on that. The second thing is um, handwritten responses, is making sure you always write everything personalized. I never copy and paste anything. The only thing I copy and paste is my contact details because it has a lot of contact details. Write personalized responses to every single message. Make sure you listen to your client. Make sure you uh, respond to what they're asking. So um, if somebody asks you for A and B, you say, yes, I can do A and B. The other thing is I never said no to anything for my first two years. I said absolutely yes to absolutely every single job that came my way. So um, I was doing every single job just to get the experience in it. So I, I became very quickly an expert at the American education system as well as the British one because I'm trained in the British one but not trained in the American one. So I picked that up very, very quickly. I learned the differences and the details in the, the Asian education system um, and how this is a little bit different. Um, but I took on every single job I poss possibly could. And this is really a big one that um, even if you can't even if you don't have the right resources to do something or you don't know how to do something very well, you go out of your way to get it. Like um, I would take on jobs that I wouldn't necessarily be 100% on and then I'd study like crazy for the next 24 hours or next 30 hours uh, until I was actually confident in, that, um, confident in that discipline. And the idea is that I would become good at mathematics, I'd become good at everything I, I can't do right now. Um, but then also it means I can accept more jobs in the future. It means I can do more things. Um, and you do get more and more jobs based on the things you've studied before. Oh yeah, another one is taking control of the situation. Like uh, quite often, preply will have some failures, or the yeah preply will have some failures, and you it will not do what you need it to do. I have a lot of clients, a lot of parents, a lot of mothers saying to me, "Oh hi, I can't book uh, the class I want to book," or "Can you check it's been booked properly?" So I do a lot of the administration myself. I try to get involved. I do about half my administration myself. I try to get involved as much as possible. And I say to the client, I try to take all the administration I can from this from the client and I do it myself. Um, because I don't want my clients to be doing all this unnecessary, boring administration when I can do that and they pay me to do it. So um, I, I try to do most of it myself. I, I block about half my classes, half my time available uh, for uh, regular clients. And then I book them manually uh, every week or every month. I book them all in. And then I know that time is only for this one student. Sometimes my uh, classes don't get paid on time and they get backdated. I, I have to talk to the clients and say, hey guys, you haven't paid for last week. We did the class anyway, because I had the time booked and nobody else could take it. Can you, uh, can you backdate the money? And um, I think that takes a lot of the hassle out of it for the clients. They take a lot of the hassle and the, the problems of um, working through all the administration. I guess that's it. Maybe there's one more thing, which is if you can't do the job, then maybe you could hook somebody else up who can. Maybe you can recommend another tutor. Um, Preply doesn't really allow us to talk to each other, so it doesn't allow this kind of network to develop. Um, 
but I can make some good recommendations because I talk to quite a lot of tutors online anyway, so I can make some good recommendations about other people in other specialisms. Um, so if you need a certain thing, I know somebody who's done a lot of that and I can hook you up with them. I might be even able to get your discount if you ask. I don't know. Um, I think that's about it.